In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the Share tab in ArcGIS Pro and discover some of the functionality for uh, creating different types of files and different types of packages. So, all right, so I've got an ArcGIS Pro project open, and uh, I'm going to switch over from the Map tab to the Share tab. Share tab is where you have the ability to share uh, your content. <clears throat> and sharing content can be different things. So. We're going to start on the left-hand side of the ribbon, kind of work our way to the right-hand side of the ribbon, just giving you a brief overview of what you can find on the share tab. Starting with the package section, there are a number of buttons here that allow you to create different types of packages. Right? Now, let's talk a little briefly about what a package actually is. Right, A package is a single file that's been compressed, and the contents of that file include uh, both data as well as uh, properties about uh, the layers or other content that you are including in the package. So, for example, um, just let's keep it simple now just by examining a layer package. So a layer package will take a single layer of information, in this case the, the parcel layer, right? It's operating on whatever you selected in the contents pane. So if I select layer package, what it's going to do is it's going to create a file called a package file. And that package file is going to contain all the data for that parcel layer, layer, as well as any properties for that parcel layer. So that would include things like the symbology for the layer, uh, any um, properties like definition queries or scale uh, defined ranges, uh, labeling properties, right? All the information that you include with that layer will be included with the package that gets created. Um, now, these package files get quite large. Uh, of course, it kind of depends upon the underlying data set, but because you are creating a copy of the data set to include with the package file, these files tend to get quite large. Uh, so they're not going to be, you know, when it comes to sharing, you're not going to probably send these via email. You're going to probably put them on some type of uh, network drive for, for downloading or perhaps like a cloud sharing service like ArcGIS Online. Um, but they provide a good way of sharing um, the full content of what you're working on with, with other people. So a layer package involves a single layer of information. A map package would take an entire map. So in, in this particular case, they've got several layers here in a base map. It's gonna bundle all of that up into a single map package file, including the data, right? The data for all these layers, the symbology for the layers, any other properties for those layers. So all that information is gonna get packaged up into the map file. And then a project package is going to take everything you have in a project. So all the maps, all the layouts, all the content that you have in a, pro a project bundles that up into a package file. Now that file, is, it's, uh, it's, it's a package file. It is basically a compressed file. Um, but even though it's compressed, uh, these files often tend to get quite large. So you have to be kind of careful with uh, how you're sharing these. All right, moving along to the share as section. Uh, this is a set of tools that allow you to uh, create web services. So you can create a web map. So for example, if you want to take this entire map, publish that out as a web map to RGS Online or RGS Enterprise, it would allow you to take that map and all the contents of that map and publish it up uh, to, um, uh, to either Enterprise or Portal or RGS Online. And then web layer, uh, of course, can be used to uh, share all the data layers in a map as a new uh, web mapping layer. Layer of information, even if it contains multiple uh, feature classes in the contents pane. Uh, moving, I'll kind of skip over some of these and move on to the Save As section. Uh, and we're looking primarily here at a couple of buttons here the map file and the layer file. Uh, a layer file uh, differs from a layer package in that uh, a layer file uh, is going to be a single file, just like with the package, but there's not going to be any data in that file. All it contains is references. So for this particular layer, the, the parcel layer, right? if I go to properties for this layer, and I go to source, you'll notice that my source in this case is coming from C student intro art pro databases triple GIS dot GDB. And there's a parcel layer that's part of that GDB. So the layer file that you create under save as would contain a reference right, to the location uh, as specified right here. Right, but it's not going to contain the data, right? so it does not replicate the data like a layer package does. Right? A layer file simply is a single file, very simple file that contains a reference to where that data resides. Uh, and then it also includes the, the property information, so the symbology and any properties you may have defined. All that information will be written there as well. And then a map file will take everything that you have in a map and uh, 
the same idea, right? It's, it's uh, create, going to create a single file with references to all these layers, how you've symbolized the layers, any properties you've defined for the layers, and it uh, sends that information to you. So these files tend to be fairly small, uh, especially compared to, to a package file, and that's because it doesn't contain the data. Moving under the output, uh, this is where you'd go to print your map, uh, send it to a printer or a plotter, export your map to things like PDF files or image file formats, and then capture to clipboard, allows you to capture that map to the clipboard and then paste it in some other application. So for example, maybe you want to paste that map into a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, that would be helpful for that. Uh, now, the last thing I want to show you is how you go about importing uh, one of these files if you should happen to receive it. And we're going to focus on map files here. So let's say you've received a map file uh, from somebody uh, in your organization or perhaps external to your organization, and you want to load uh, that map file so you can see the contents. So the way you do this is to go to the Insert tab, and then there's an Import Map button. You click that. What you're doing is you're navigating to the location of that map file. And you can see I have a map X file. Right? That's just a map file that we talked about earlier. Uh, there's other options here. Right? You also can import from MXD files. So if you've got content that you've saved from ArcMap into your map document files and you want to import that content to an ArcGIS Pro project, uh, you can certainly do that as well. It's a very common um, function to, to want to import that type of content. But what we have here is a, a map file called Sanitary Sewer Map and located in this directory. I'll hit OK. And then what it does is it just loads that content. So you can see now I have a new map. It's been added to my project and it's got a set of layers. Now, when I open that map file, the uh, you know, you're, you're counting on the fact that the data, the references in that map file, you're counting on the fact that you have access to the same uh, references. Right? So if the references are off, then you're going to get broken data links. Uh, you've probably seen the little red exclamation points out to the right-hand side of the layers indicating that you have a broken data link. So the, the, the key with layer files and map files is that the receiver of the layer file or the map file has to have access to the same data sets in the same location in order for everything to come across clean. All right. So uh, again, all that's uh, things that you can accomplish through the share tab. Uh, there are other things here as well, but wanted to kind of focus in on the things that are uh, that people use most commonly. And that includes packages, uh, different types of files, printing and exporting, and then sharing uh, to AGOL or to portal or to enterprise. So that is it for for this demonstration. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time.